A very good evening, everyone. Welcome to ANZ Stadium in Sydney for a terrific night of Rugby League. We have got the under-20s origin, which is about to get underway, and then the big one, the decider. State of Origin 3, Peter Basaldus and Stephen blocker Roach with you. Blocker, this is like Christmas Day. Ah, uh, Peter, this is great. I'm really looking forward to this 20s game, no doubt about that. It's the start of something special for these young fellows. They get to see what Origin's all about. They've been in camp, both sides. They get to see a bit about preparation. And then, as you said, a little bit later on, the big one. But let's knuckle down there to this one. Always a big challenge. All right. Uh, here are the teams, the way they line up. Hoy at fullback, Katoa and Saab, the wingers. Crichton and Parry, the centres for New South Wales. Johns and Wakem. We'll talk about those halves throughout the game. Lenu, Verils, Kafusi, Wilton, Dory, and Medlin round out the forward pack with Huth, Otomagamanu, Croker, and Rodwell, the bench for New South Wales. And the coach is Shrek, Mark O'Mealy. For Queensland, Mulatalo, Spry, New, Tuolungi, Anderson, the back line, the halves, Trindle, and Pakes. And the forward pack, Blacker, Hetherington, Bullymore, Tino for Suamalaawi, Hopgood, Gilbert, the bench, Boyd, Condon, Bayless and Barrett. The coach, Scott Prince. Well, there's co-coaches for Queensland, Scott Prince and Paul Dyer, the coaches. Now, I was watching uh, yesterday the captain's run for uh, the New South Welshman, Mark O'Mealy. He trained him like he played. <laughs> I mean, the contest that I saw yesterday afternoon, I've never seen a captain run like it. Generally, it's a little bit of a walk in the park. I'll tell you what, they were belting each other. So, Mark O'Mealy yep. uh, has obviously got uh, got his men fired up, so it'll be interesting to see how they start this game. They put the deep heat in the, on top of the heads, on no, top no, of the no, melon. I don't think any of them are bald yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not a cure for baldness, is it? Putting the deep heat in. No, this will be good tonight. There's plenty of people coming in. Now, Blocker, we've seen a number of the players in either team have played uh, in the NRL uh, of late. Uh, unfortunately for New South Wales, Phoenix Crosland uh, isn't playing tonight, but it was good to see him make his uh, debut recently. We've got uh, Tafi on the, it's uh, Blake Tafi is the halfback for New South Wales tonight with Matt Burton, uh, the 5'8". Uh, but in last week, of course, Tino Fasua Malaawi made his debut for uh, the Melbourne Storm on Thursday night. And he is part of this Queensland team. Got to say too, Blocker, well done to the Melbourne Storm, uh, even though he made his debut on the weekend. Uh, Craig Bellamy said he will never stand in the way of a player who is picked in a rep team yeah. and uh, has uh, has said, go into camp and enjoy yourself in the Queensland under-20s team. Yeah, they reckon he, he played in the in the game on the weekend. They dropped him off at the hotel on the way back. <laughs> I love that story. It's brilliant, isn't it? Corey Pakes on screen. Uh, he has been picked to play for uh, the Broncos this weekend to make his debut. Been playing for the Redcliffe Dolphins in the Intrust Super Cup. A lot of those Queensland players just focusing on them while we're waiting for New South Wales, uh, who are about to come out uh, featuring the Hastings Deering Colts competition as well. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to see Sam Verrills play, play. I've seen him play all of his NRL games so far. Very crafty little hooker out of dummy half. So his experience will be invaluable. Certainly will be. Here come New South Wales. A team, as you would expect, chock full of talent. This will be... A terrific contest. Really looking forward to seeing Stephen Crichton, another one of these young Penrith players on the assembly line out there at the foot of the mountain blocker. Ethan Parry, two in the centres. They're two very likely types. But clash of the forwards, Kai Rodwell, who's been playing Canterbury Cup New South Wales for the Rabbitohs. This will be a beauty block. Yeah, I think Marco O'Mealy would have instilled the hatred for Queensland. Um, and obviously Scott Prince the same, but uh, on our home ground, they get to kick off now New South Wales to make a statement early in this game. So New South Wales kicking off, Queensland with first use of the football. And looking forward to seeing how the next period unfolds. For Suamala Awi with a run, 
Tackle there by Wilton, the, the initial contact. You're always a little bit of a softening out period early in the game too, so both sides be very enthusiastic to get off their line. It's a good start from Queensland. Certainly is. Up towards the 40 they go. In fact, they'll kick here through Corey Pakes. It's with Hoy, the fullback. Strong carrier of the football. Yeah, nice footwork at the at the line there too. Really late, so Queensland get their first bite. That's a good hit by Eddie Blacker from St George Illawarra Club. Good defence by Queensland. No one for his defence. Block, blocker is Eddie Blacker. And this is good stuff from New South Wales. Into Queensland Territory they go by about eight metres. Pete Oro is reckoning it's a great advantage to kick off in state of origin, whether it be the 20s or the first grade or the 18. So mm -hmm. New South Wales have got a little bit of field position. Good start from both sides. No handling errors so far. There's a kick from Burton. Not a bad one. Flying high, though, and taking it well. There's the fullback, Militalo, for Queensland. We hear it so many times. Still a good start, as we said, from New South Wales, but kick into the corners. Make them work off their own line. They've done well. No handling errors so far. There's some good defence there. That's taking away some yards from the New South Welshman. Driving defence, isn't it, there on the... 5-8 for Queensland, Braden Trindle who decided to go for a run. Hard yards for the Maroons at the moment. Strong run there by Eddie Blacker. As he said, Block, with the Dragons. We've got big wraps on Blacker. Here's a kick from Trindle. Low one, he's looking for the sideline. I'll tell you what, that is a terrific kick. It certainly is when you've been under the pump, field position wise early in the game. This big bop was a little bit of a bit of a rest, been good quality so far early in this game. As you said, the grabber kick by Trindle. Just a little bit of a walk to the scrum now. New South Wales with the loose and the feed. Yeah, good kick there from Trindle. His team needed it too. They've been on the back foot, Queensland. South Wales to feed the scrum. Blocker, a number of these players, as mentioned, uh, have made their NRL debut in recent times. And you've got to say, a few of them knocking on the door. And there's one here I want to point out to you. I get to see him quite regularly in uh, the Intrust Super Cup. And that's Tom Gilbert, the vice captain for Queensland, the lock forward. He is, and I mean this to Gilbert's family and friends in the nicest possible ways. New South Wales looking for a shift here. There's Katoa, and he's gone into touch. I'll tell you the trouble with here, when, when it's a dewy night here, especially at the AZ Stadium, you can't flirt with your sidelines because that's exactly what happens. Get forced into touch there. That's the first error. An unforced error there from New South Wales there, pushed into touch. It's advantage Queensland now. Well, there, there was no going forward with going across as well. It was pretty much one side to the other with no no forward momentum there. They do it so well too, Pete. They hold you up when they know, they know when you're close to the sideline. Hold you up. A couple of other troops come and assist in the tackle. New South Wales forced over the sideline. So, Block, going back to Tom Gilbert. I mean this in the greatest respect to any of his family, friends who are, who are watching. He's just a little bit mad. Oh, he's got a touch of lunacy about him, hasn't he? Oh, good. <laughs> In a good way. I'm looking forward to You'd that. love watching him play. He's a very good player, as is this one here. And Ethan Bullymore with the Broncos, playing primarily with the Norse Devils. Hooker for Queensland is Kobe Hetherington. That's not Jason's son, is it? It sure is. Oh, what a hard man he was. The man from Barralaba, Hetherington, goes to Pakes. Inside pass, the beauty to Bullymore. He gives a pass to Hetherington, who's tackled 10 away from the line. Bullymore to dummy half, penalty Queensland. Yeah, second grab there by Darby Mendlin. After the break through the middle third of the field, gee, I've been impressed with the big number 10, Bullymore. His defence has been great, but he made the way through the middle there. Good interchange of passing there from the Queenslanders. They're going to take the tap. How good's that? Yeah, and here is Gilbert. 
Hard into the New South Wales defence. This is a test for the Blues. Good tackle there, Rodwell. Rodwell v Gilbert's a beauty. Here's a good run from Hopgood. Jermaine Hopgood from the Penrith Panthers. He'll play the ball back to Murray Tuolangi. There's Hetherington. He just lost his balance there, did Kobe. Lost the footing. Gilbert to dummy half. Pakes. Out wide they go. Trindle. Little step. Fenn. Back towards the centre. Pass to Pakes. On the ground. Six more tackles. It was touched. And he's Ethan Bullymore. Well, they're going to be put under pressure now. The New South Wales one with a double set now to the Queenslanders on the back of the penalty. Going to try and hang on here. Strong run there from Blacker. He'll get up and play it. Hetherington with a chance. Just short penalty, Queensland. You don't know how you get a penalty out of that. They're right on their goal line. Obviously, one foot not behind the line there, but it's two metres out from the line. More pressure for New South Wales. They take the tap and go to Gilbert. Tom Gilbert. Held, Held up. up. Held up. Good positioning from... Martin Jones, the referee. You know what this does too when you've had back-to-back -back -back sets against you? Gives you a little bit of a breather there. They're held up over the line. They can organise your defensive line. Pakes. Oh. Willitalo almost the intercept. Knock back, they're saying. And play on here for New South Wales. Gee, I've seen those ones called back. Lucky to get away with it that time, New South Wales. But they hang on. And a penalty to boot in the second tackle. Well, Marco Mealy will be delighted with the defence of New South Wales. And now they get a penalty to get marched downfield. Oh, how good is it? The front rower, you get a penalty on the second tackle and you go, -hoo -hoo. <laughs> I don't have to work the ball off my own line with the, with the line speed of the opposition. and go up over the halfway line, straight away start to attack. Especially if you were next in line for a hit-up. Oh, good. I'll take this one now, 35 out from the opposition's line. And especially when it was a five metre rule, even the ball boys got bashed. <laughs> Dury plays it. Up over the 30 they go now, New South Wales. 28 away from the Queensland line, the under 20s origin. Nice pass away and he'll do well to stay in the field to play here, Crichton. Tex Hoy, the fullback, getting involved for New South Wales. Strong run again from Rodwell. No, it's a good run, isn't it? He found his front too. The quick play, the ball now. Now here's a chance for New South Wales. Pass there to Parry, another one of the strong, hard-running centres in this Blues team. Last tackle. Here's the kick in the goal area. Can he get there? Knocked on Queensland try. Well, it was like a pinball, but Matt Burton is the player that has forced it and opened the scoring for New South Wales. They were under the pump for the last five minutes. They get an opportunity blocker, and jotting on the spot was the 5'8", Matt Burton from the Panthers to well, score. Well, I'm not so sure that it wasn't Matt Burton that put the kick in. I'll have to wait for the replay, but he picked up the crumbs at the back. Plenty of Queensland jerseys around there. Always in these slippery conditions. Especially here at ANZ Stadium. It is Burton that comes away with a kick there. How they thread the needle, I'll never know. It's a good chase through. A little bit of a fumble. Knock back. And right on the spot following his kick there to score the opening try. Is Matt Burton. And a good one too. After they responded well to get upfield on the back of a penalty. After they were under the pump on their own goal line. The New South Wales Blues under 20s go the length of the field to open the scoring. Yeah, terrific stuff. Blocker, the platform was laid after the penalty from Kai Rodwell with some terrific runs, the big number 10 from the Rabbitohs. Yeah, you're right there, Pete. Just uh, through that middle third of the field. These sort of conditions too when you split the back rowers and the centres and there's a little bit of yardage right up the guts. And on the back of a penalty from the second tackle too. Puts you in good field position. And New South Wales are off and running. That they certainly are. Here's the attempt at conversion. 20 in from touch. 
Left boot strikes it, waved away, just stabbed at that one. Yeah, it wasn't kicked with any great conviction there from Stephen Crichton. You've got to get those ones too, don't you? As you said, you're right. You follow through with that kick, just stabbed at it. That could be telling at the back end of the game, but you've got to convert those ones. 24 minutes gone no, to go in the half. This is the under-20s origin. Queensland v New South Wales. First blood to the Blues. Peter Basoldis and Stephen Blocker Roach with you on a beautiful Wednesday evening. Good run again from Rodwell. Good defence too for Suomala Awi. That is another good run. The New South Wales forwards are rolling. Beautiful pass. And what? It's called back now. Do you like to see that again? Blocker? Yeah, I must be seeing things too. The natives are getting a little bit restless out there, as you do in Origin. Turnover on the halfway line. I don't know where this is a forward pass. That's play on for mine. I don't know where that call come from. Anyway, you've got to deal with that. You make the mistake, you got, then you've got to defend. So New South Wales now under the pump, just over the halfway line, Queensland with the loose in the feed. So Queensland to feed the scrum. He got a bit of a penalty. Oh, no, I thought it might have been a penalty. I thought the ref put his arm up towards Queensland. That's just showing that they've got the loose in the feed. Yep. Feed of the scrum here for Queensland. 40 out from the New South Wales line. They've got the ball here in New South Wales Territory. 35 away. Trailing by four points to nil. There's Fasua Malaawi put on his back. That is a very good tackle. He's a big man, isn't he? Pretty certain that was Matt Burton, the 5'8", that picked him up and put him on his back. None of the Dragons could do that on the on Thursday night when he made his NRL debut, Fasua Malaawi. Trindle into the line. Goes to Militalo, the fullback for Queensland, dives into the corner. What a way to hit back, four all. Referee a point to the spot. Fullbacks these days, Blocker, can create something out of nothing. He saw the opportunity, and what about the finish? Militalo, what about the speed on the bloke? On the back of a, a mistake by the New South Welshman. Got himself on that right-hand side. A one pass runner here, some good ball play and straighten up beautifully. The second man play, no obstruction there. Queensland, just like that, hit back. It'd be wonderful to have that sort of speed, Peter. My car can nearly go that fast. <laughs> I don't think mine. He was <laughs> flying. Nearly. Great hit back, but that's, uh, that's great. They just hung in there, they didn't let the first try worry them. Queensland hit back with a great try. Ronaldo Militalo. Plays for the Sharks. There's a former Shark that is going to be in the crowd watching tonight, Valentine Holmes. I saw him this afternoon, Block. Geez, wouldn't you wish he was playing? How's he, how's he looking? Is he, yeah. is he bulked up a bit or? Looks good. They've got to put a bit of, bit of size on him for the for the NFL? Not much more. No. He was saying it's just more about just getting that power yeah. going. But. Wow. In saying that, you don't want to put on. He doesn't want to put on too much size. Is he loving it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, maybe getting about four million or something. I'd be loving it too. <laughs> I don't think he's getting that yet. Is Trindle? <laughs> oh, we'll throw it out there anyway. That's potentially there. Hey, Pete, just quickly. He could have shouted the coffee if he. I oh, know they've, they've missed the goal there. Just quickly. What, what about the setup we've got here for sports films, I, mate? When we started a couple of years ago, you and I. Oh, there was just a couple of microphones, that was it. We've got everything, replay screens and everything. How good is it? Outstanding. The guys do a terrific job putting all of these games together for you. A terrific crew. Way of the future. He is. Hope you're enjoying this no matter where you are. I bet there's a lot of people on trains and buses on their way home just having a sneaky look on the phone or the iPad, the laptop. Always interested to watch the, the 20s and all that play, Pete. I wish they'd bring it back before the NRL games, even if we had an under-23s competition or something like that, just so, so we can go and watch these stars or the next up stars 
We can watch them week in and week out. We don't get to see them that much now. Well, I don't. There's a good run from Jermaine Hopgood. Up over halfway, they go through Blacker. Last tackle here for Queensland. Kick there from Pakes. Tex Hoy. <laughs> you talk about hard. you talk about timing there. They got there right on the nick of time and give away a penalty just rough enough. I thought that was a dominant tackle there, Pete. I don't know about the penalty there. Dominant tackle. A fullback jump for the football from New South Wales in Tex Hoy. What about that for a name? Tex. Tex Hoy. Okay. Yeah, good. They get the penalty, but that's the second time they've got a little bit of reprieve off their own line with two penalties, so all that hard work done by the New South Welshman's pack yet. Someone from the Dragons send me a tweet or something. Jason Saab. Remember, was it Charlie Saab? Charlie Saab, Charlie yeah. He Saab. played with South Sydney. Yeah. I wonder if it's his son, do you reckon? Oh, if someone from the Dragons can let us know, that would be terrific. Nephew. Might just like the cars. So Jason Saab from the Dragons. This plenty of players with big wraps on them here, and this is all part of their rugby league journey. New South Wales on the front foot. There's a strong oh. run. Wow. Lenu. He's been good, almost poking his head through the defensive line every time he's touched the ball so far. Here's a kick. They fly high and getting there and putting the ball down. Was it? No. Knocked on. Well, exactly what I've been waiting for to see Saab jump for the football. A wonderful leaper. Got the first grab on the footy. Here's the crossfield kick here. It was a great chase from the New South Welshman. Saab very tall. Got the first grab at it. The ball went back there, but he lost possession. So that's a fair call, that one. Yeah. Boy, he's athletic, isn't he? Just tall individual is Saab. I watched our man play Xavier Coates the other day. Mm. I've got one word for you. Wow. <laughs> How good is he going to be? And block, there's another thing for people who watch these games. It's not that long before they star in the NRL. Or play in the NRL at least, I should say. Good run, Hetherington. Well, that's why we've got to be have the opportunity for rugby league supporters. We've got to be able to see these kids coming up. Corey Pakes puts on a step and a sprint with good tackle. Drake stopping him was Matthew Dury. <coughs> Kick here from Trindle. It's a high one underneath it is Katoa. Oh, that's Takes nice. it well. That's a great take, Katoa. And did well too. He thought about a little cheeky offload, but it's wonderful confidence in the run in there from 15 metres to catch a bomb like that. Great quality game this. 16 and a half minutes left in the first half. There's a good run. Virils and now out wide to Crichton. And the offload too. He yeah. bounced out the back nicely there. South Wales up over the 30 they go now close to the 20 as well play the ball here's the try score it goes to no one Matt Burton just overcooked that pass a little bit of an indecision there from Burton he looked in to play in and then went out the cut out pass I don't really know night football and these sort of slippery conditions that's a couple of times that pass has gone over the, the touch line, but when they get driven over by three and four in the tackle, Queensland's defence, you've got to pay tribute to it. Four all at the moment, so the defence has been good. They get to ruck the ball off the, up over their 20. They're just outside the 20 there on tackle one. Now Hop good, gets it up to the 30. Tessie New for Queensland. Now, he's another player blocker that featured in the 18's origin. Good run there. Up over the halfway, nearly to the 30. Bullymore now. Pakes inside pass to Gilbert. Done well back on the inside there defensively, New South Wales. They had to close the gate. 
Different angles here from the Queenslanders. Knocked back there. Trindle. It's the last. He puts up a kick. Tester there for Saab. Oh, no. wow. Shelling peas. Great take. Oh, that was a beautiful take too. And, and a penalty. And again. Jeez. They've got to have a little bit more discipline there. Scott Prince will talk to his side about that, about making New South Wales work off their own line. Giving away three penalties now. So they're back around the halfway line to attack again. Manu. Shot of him on the sideline. He's about to come on. Stefano. Now they're 35 away from the Queensland line. Getting up to play it. It's been one of the better players on the field. Spencer Linu. Well, I'll tell you what he's got to learn. Just get up and play the ball. Don't look at the markers and everything. Because the next bloke who runs the ball, if you're slow, play the ball. You get whacked. So you've got to play for your teammates. There is... Yuraki Manu. His first touch of the football. There's Tex Hoy. Almost getting through for Sumala Awi. Grabbed him by the collar and put him down. There's a little kick knocked on Queensland. There should be six more tackles. It is. Uh, now they're going to get asked the question now. Back to back sets now for New South Wales. Three metres away from the line, New South Wales. For all the score. Big opportunity this one now for the Blues. Five away from the line. Hoy will get up and play it. Good to see the fullback go from one side of the field to the other. The 17 is out there now. Alex Seafarth, the Tiger. From the West Tigers. He's been made part of their top 30. Beautiful pass. Great tackle. Great tackle. You're right, block a try saver. Good pass, that one from Burton. He's got the ball in hand again. Burton step scores. Wow. An exciting game of footy. It's got to cut out the penalties. The New South Wales are getting off their own line. The, the Queensland has given away three. Just an easy walk up field. So they've been gifted their points, really. They really haven't had to work that hard for them, New South Wales. Ten points to four. Here we go again. New South Wales with the football. Eriku Manu. There's Saab. See what they are good at, poking their nose through. I mean, the defence of Queensland's been good, but you watch every time New South Wales take it through the middle. The ability just to poke the nose through, quick play the balls, land on their knees and elbows. few occasions that a New South Wales player was put on their back but even then quick spin got straight back up good quick play the ball is the last inside Queensland territory by a couple of meters high oh, kick from Burton good luck oh and that's a very good take from Ronaldo Mulatalo yeah Mulatalo that was a beautiful take and gets the offload too they've called it back Ooh, he was fighting now, here is one of my pet hates in the game. If someone offloads the ball after you've, been, you've called hell, irrespective of what team it is, penalise them. Don't go back to it. just slows the game, takes all the momentum out of the game. That's my bone for the day. What's yours? No, I'm with you there. <laughs> no, I've got mine for you. One of the... Wait, oh, he's a penalty, Queensland. No, I was going to say one thing, but I'm going to change it bottom. People on planes who think as soon as the seatbelt signs off it means they, mean, they, they think jump the door's up. open. Yeah. Yep, I'm with you. You, you. you generally sit down the front of the plane these days, mate. Pete, I knew you when you had nothing. <laughs> down the front. <laughs> no, not that far down. Here's Tanner Boyd, who's on the field. Mulatalo, Tanner Boyd, recently signed by the Gold Coast Titans, was with the Broncos. Fasua Malaawi from the Melbourne Storm in the Sunshine Coast Falcons. Get up and play it. Here is Boyd. 
his objective is to run. Trindle to Pakes. Long pass. Anderson, Eliza Anderson, does well to stay in the field of play. To Alungi. Pakes goes short on this occasion. They're five away from the line. It's amazing how similar they played to first grade tides, isn't it? Unbelievable. A 20 year old. Boyd. Pakes. Played a lot of football together. Little kick there from Pakes. Burton does well. He's back in the field of play. If we get the replay of that uh, that kick there, there was hardly any chases too. I don't know who he was kicking for that time, the halfback. Oh, good run, Crichton. And then he's left it behind. All knock back play on here. Saab's got it. Gets up over the halfway line, Saab. Can he stay in the field of play? No, he can't. No, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, uh -oh. it's a penalty, New South Wales. So a penalty New South Wales block. Yeah, a little bit of uh, jumper grabbing there. So as I said, you know, you flirt with the sideline. That's exactly what happens in night games. Get close, a little bit slippery there. Gets forced into, into touch. This is a big plus for the New South Welshman now. I'll call both captains out. I don't think there's any need. Let's just get on with the game. This is another thing that annoys me. You come here. Stand there when I'm talking to you. You know, come on, let's play. We know it's a penalty, let's get on with it. Seven minutes left in the first half. You know. Call you you know what's going to be said. Just settle it down, otherwise I'll have to put someone down. Yeah, but the fans sitting here watching the game and you and I are doing the game. You need to get on with it. It's a little bit like Mark Gasnier, that young senator. Yeah. Come all the way from the other side. Centers. Bright and Harry. Oh no, it wasn't. That it was, was the 11. That was uh, Take Wilt from Granola. Start of the game. You, you understand what I'm saying, mate? We've had two minutes stoppage here. I know that they've, they've called time off, but come on, boys. I'm ready to watch you blow your whistle. I want to see you, to see you play. And play they will, Block. Big Stefano. There's a good run. That's Matt Croker. Burton. Oh, good. Nice Solid tackle. Hit. Pakes has it now for Queensland. And that was the number four there for the Queensland side. Murray to Alungi. To Alungi. Just launched. Haven't seen a centre tackle like that since Gene Miles. With a good run as well. Boyd goes to Tom Gilbert. Tanner Boyd from inside the 40. He struck it pretty nicely as well. Tanner Boyd with a 40 20. Look at the speed of the kid, too. Coming on at hooker, kicking out a dummy half there. A 40 20. And the time's right, too. It's amazing. How many times all these young players can do things right on call, what's, what's needed. The 40-20, here they come, Queensland. Got to hang on here, New South Wales. And they send them back again. This is my bugbear in the game. Oh, as soon as the team's ready to tap, they should be right to go as far as 40-20s are concerned. Logan Bayless now. Bayless Brow it is, who's on the field. Corey Pake, short ball, good tackle. See, great exhibition of rugby league here. Militalo for the line. Can he get there? No, he's short. He's held up there, great defence. Looks like he was going to roll over and score there. Oh, Tana Boyd, if you don't mind, the half volley, the pickup. Could have been a changeover in possession there. He's done well. Queensland lost a little bit of momentum though. Logan Bayless Brow there on the field. His second hit up of the set. Here's the last. Trindle, they're running it. Militalo puts a little kick in now and flying through. And knocking the ball on. New Queensland. I'll tell you Jermaine what, that's Bry coming through. Tell you what, they chase with enthusiasm too. It looked like that ball, they never give up on it. It looked like it was kicked a little bit too hard, but. Look at the Queensland chasers here. 
And now it's all on the line. Beautiful grubber kick in and behind the bounce of the ball. Geez, that's flirting with danger too there from Katoa. You've got to get on that footy. New South Wales hang on there. Strong run here from Katoa. Six points down. Queensland, New South Wales looking very strong and they got a good service from their bench. Katoa Kamanu. Good run from him. Tafe, get up and play it. There's another good scheming run here from Verrills. And a kick as well from Verrills. And flying through and getting the ball is Wilton. Oh, that is sensational from the number nine from the Roosters. Outstanding. Sam Verrills does very well in the try from Wilton. New South Wales go further in front. Well, he's got a, he's got a sense of when to run, hasn't he, Verrills? One marker down there for Queensland. He just skipped out of dummy half. But what about the skills? Stepped around a couple of players. Good footwork. Skipped out of a couple of tackles. And then the vision to put the grubber kick in. And look at the chase. Timed himself beautifully there. That's... Wilton that gets over the stripe. That's wonderful play considering Queensland could have scored up the other end of the field. And we've seen it a couple of times in the first half. New South Wales have been able to go the length of the field and score on the back end of it. Verrills, tremendous play. He's going to be a good player, this kid. Well, he's been playing a lot in the Canterbury Cup. New South Wales for the North Sydney Bears. They've been playing very well as well. He's having a very good season. And now he's laid on a try there for Tug Wilton, who did very well, the back rower. Another important kick, this one, too. We saw the last kick. I think it was Crichton who kicked it and stabbed at the football. He gets another opportunity here. He'll be happy he can put this one over. Make it 16-4. Pretty much right on half time, too, Block. They did well to scramble up the other end of the field, New South Wales. Just reloaded, went down the other end. And Verrills with some wonderful football. If you want to hear his name a lot. Absolutely. Looks very sharp. Crichton. Left boot strikes it. He struck that one better off the post than in. Well, his, his first two kicks, nothing like his first one. We'll put the first one down the nerves. Yeah. His next two have been very good. Just got to get in there at half time with Scott Prince if you're, if you're the Queenslanders and just sapped a bit of energy out, out of them giving away those three penalties New South Wales are working off their own line the second tackle they kick down field and they've played pretty well in the first half a lot of football for New South Wales I think the title turn possession wise in the second half final minute of the half is a mistake from New South Wales Queensland are looking to pack the scrum and stop the clock and they'll have Enough time here, Block, for, the, for at least three or four tackles, you would think. Well, a great place to attack from, too, right? Just to the left of the upright in the middle third of the field. Everyone's packed onto one side here. Just look for that fullback again coming in. Making the extra man. He's been dangerous. Watch for Tanner Boyd to run. Goes to Corey Pakes, who slips. Just at the wrong time there. 29 seconds. To Alungi. He's held. Remains on his feet. 20 seconds left. Boyd. Pakes. Trindle. Goes short for Suamala Awi. Five away from the line. He'll want to get up and play it quickly. Last play of the half. Militalo can't get there. In fact, if it was that quick a play, he'll have time for one more play. He plays it. Penalty Queensland, though. Well, you know what I'd be doing? Take it 10 metres out and put it up right next to the upright and get everyone to contest the footy here. Up she goes to the big Gary Owen, as they used to call it. Yep. Right at the posts. Yeah. They have a shot at goal, are they? Surely not. Well, they got a couple of penalties early and never took the kick. What are they taking the kick for now? Anyway, 
Well, bit of minds in mind. They are going to. Yep, they are going to take the shot at goal. Ooh, a bit surprised about this move. Ten points down. You know what will happen, Block. If Queensland score in the last minute and win, we'll be saying... <laughs> what, a great, what, a, what a great decision <laughs> it was to take that kick. Remember that kick right on half-time. <laughs> I'll write it down. If he gets it. Trindle. It's no gimme. He's ten in from touch. He is a good goal kicker. Strikes it well. Off the post, back in. New South Wales won't want to clock off. It's play on here for Queensland. Militalo has it. Tackled half-time. He knocked the ball on. Well, there was no need there for Stefano Uriko Manu to get involved. I'll apologise to him if he was involved. Referee Martin Jones is probably best just to say, guys, go to your rooms. We'll come back and sort this out yeah, in around on, 10 minutes' time. Go on, everyone. Give everyone 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Second half action about to get underway. We just want a big shot there of Lonnie Dekiri and Brent Tate on the sideline for Queensland. Brent Tate wearing the blue shirt for the Maroons. Running the messages. Queensland out there. Scott Prince as well too. He's got the yellow shirt on there, Block. So, well, he's doing his own running, or is yeah. he getting ready for the big one? Yeah, he's out there. He's out there running his own messages. <laughs> Wonder if he got it right. <laughs> he's got Paul Dyer, his co-coach as well. Here come New South Wales. They're in control, leading by two converted tries. Second half action, about to get underway. Well, Peter was lucky for the New South Welshman to score just on the stroke of half time. Queensland probably had the last couple of plays at the line. The interesting second half, I'm sure you'll have to clean up their, well, their discipline when New South Wales are coming off their own line. They give away three penalties. Here we go. We're underway in the second half. We certainly are underway. New South Wales with first use of the football. They're leading by two converted tries. Well, it's been Matt Burton for New South Wales, the orchestrator in the first half with the headgear on. He set up the couple of tries there. He's got options. Played so well. Be interesting to see if New South Wales kick early in the tackle count to start the second half. 16-4 in front. They want to play the game down the other end. Well, they get the ball to the halfway line here, Block. It's tackle four. The slow play the ball, so that probably stopped any thought of an early kick, but it's a great set of six anyway. They'll be kicking inside the half. Will Tafe. And that'll be knocked on by New South Wales. A little bit of fraught with danger to start off the second half with that big bomb going up and allowing the opposition to have first grab at the ball. They couldn't take it, New South Wales. So a turnover now. Queensland 20 metres out from their own line. Got to start the half strongly here, Queensland. To Alungi, who did have a good half of football for the Maroons in the first half. Queensland started to get a lot of momentum during that half when both hookers, whether it be the starting hooker in KB Hetherington or Tanner Boyd, just skipped out a little bit. They both look sharp. Up to the 30 go Queensland. It's been a good set of six. You've got to finish it well here. High kick. Hoy's oh, he's underneath it. And knocked on by Queensland into Hoy. And 
then just when they thought that blocker they were about to march downfield and score the try, it was pulled back for the knock on. Good, good call from Martin Jones. I love that midfield bomb too. About 30 out, aiming at the post. You got to contest for the footy. I think Mr. Munster in the big one will be under a fair bit of pressure. He hasn't played fullback for a couple of years, so still is his preferred position. He's been catching bombs all week. Oh, offload. And not a bad one as well. Burton's got it. Crichton is offload happy, isn't he? The, the centre, he... You know what, but I actually like that about so players. I. I mean, you know, rather than this one out, taking it up all the time, at least a little bit of skill. As long as you don't make errors coming off your own line, it's, a, it's good to chance your hand a bit. Fortune favours the brave. Certainly does, and here's Verrills. Best player on the field by far, and gets a good quick play the ball. Burton, little grubber kick. It's a tester there for Anderson. He's knocked it back. He's got to get up and get it. He does. That's good play. It's an easier game for your teammates when you've got someone like Sam Verrills doing what he's doing, but Queensland have lost it now. And especially off a quick play the ball with that kick downfield. Nearly on again here. Threatening to boil over pretty much since the kickoff. Well, you can run in now and grab some jumpers without having to worry about getting snotted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I say threatening to boil over. That's all it'll continue to do is threaten. Yeah. Well, New South Wales don't have to fall into that, do they really? Don't have to fall into the niggle. Just keep playing. A mistake again made. The Queenslanders, when do they get a penalty or something? Going to call a couple of players out again. It's a touchy doing. He's it's like he's loading the lambs back into the into yeah. the shed. <laughs> he's uh... <laughs> just like he was at the same dog trial. Gilbert told to go away. Here we are, the second time in the game I've been annoyed. Well, so the reports come in from the touch judge here. Here's the talking to. Two willing young bucks there. Testosterone flowing. Oh, New South Wales get a penalty for a push. Well, you've got to take the two here, you? right in front. What are they going to do? You've got to. Well, you're in front by 12. Takes it out to 14. Well, the longer it takes, it's not going to take the tap, are they? Oh, no, they're going to go the two. Looking at the tackle count, Darby Medlin has been leading the tackle for New South Wales. In fact, both lock forwards, Queensland's Tom Gilbert with 24, Medlin with a lot of willing 25. workers, haven't they? A lot of willing workers. Their work rate has been great. Still arguing with the ref. Just come on, get out, of your, get out of my face and let's get on with the game. So, what will they do here, New South Wales? They pointed to the post. Yeah, they have. Just waiting for the kicking tee to come out here for Crichton. They'll have a, a big sigh of relief here, Queensland. I think the blocker that New South Wales have chosen to well, you generally take do, the two. You generally think about it and do what the opposition doesn't want you to do. And they, and they like that New South Wales is going to go to... More points further ahead, 18 to 4 it'll be. And throw this one over. Nice left footer too. Good crowd in attendance for the under 20s origin. Yes. Makes no mistake, does Crichton. That's so 18-4 it is. That's nice too for New South Wales to get on the scoreboard just to settle them down to start the second half, albeit a, a conversion. 
Queensland, as I said, you know, I'm sure the coach would have spoken to him about the discipline at half time. They've given away too many penalties. I mean, the scoreline will be nowhere near what it is now. If they're not giving away those penalties, let New South Wales march up the field so comfortably. We've really got to take stock now. So, New South Wales with the football. Here's Spencer Lenu from. Up together! Get square! Here and hold! Hold! He'll get up and play it. 12, hold for me, 12. 15, off the ball! Strong carry ball. again. Hold! Tenacity, another step, That mate. was Derby Medlin. Thanks. Again. 12 on now! Hold! Luda Kamanu hold. getting heavily involved as well. That was Alex Seafarth off the bench, getting good service off their bench. That's Matt Croker. Just don't want this scoreline to blow out here. Good pass there from Medlin. They went to the other centre this time, and Ethan Parry. It's right in the centre of the ground. We'll play it now. New South Wales in front. High kick from Burton. They allow it to bounce. Crichton's got it. And he's kicked it out on the full. Plays off the cuff, doesn't he? He was caught on the sideline there. Nothing really he could do. Tried to hook the ball over back in field with his left boot. New South Wales turned the ball over here. Someone's got to take control of this Queensland side here. Tremaine Sprite. Must get, him, quiet. get themselves back into the game. Been quiet, Tremaine Sprite. Noted try scorer in the Intrust Super Cup. Must be knocking on the door to be in that Help! Gold Coast Titans team. Release! Here's Tanner Boyd at first receiver. They'll be looking Tanner for him to run a lot more now. We've got a chance at hand too. I know it's only early in the second half, but we've got to come up with something a little bit different. A couple of offloads or a little bit of individual brilliance here from Queensland. For Suamala Awi. Loses the ball. He's claimed it was stripped. Loose carry. It was. Here's Hoy. Wasn't a bad set, that one from Queensland. But all came unstuck near the end of it. And that's New South Wales coming off their own end. The 10 short of the halfway line. He's having a game and a half, Tate Wilton. Here's Crichton. Looks dangerous every time he's got the football. The, the ball Three, looks like now. a tennis ball in yeah, those A little hands. marble in his hand. Yeah. Verrills. Gee, he recognises when to run well, doesn't he, Verrills? And a quick play the ball here. He's putting his team on the front foot. 22 away from the line. Which way will Verrills go on the last? Goes to Burton. Puts up a kick. Shank that one a little bit. Saab will make something of it. Inside pass. Parry. Medlin, now the halfback, Tafe gets it high in the air. Crichton's got it. He's put on the deck. That went forward. That went forward. Well, they've really got to dig in here now, Queensland. Somehow have got to make, make it up the other end of the field. New South Wales have got them where they want them now. Ten metres out from their own line. Here's some good defence. Taking a couple of yards off the, the ball carrier. Try and upset their first two rucks here. Hopgood. That's a good run from Hopgood. His team needed it. This set of six blocker is to Alangi. Makes another seven, eight, nine, ten metres. That set of six had tackle three or four on their own ten metre line, written all over it until that run from Hopgood. Just their halves have got to take control here for the Queensland side. We've got to come up with something a little bit special. Can't afford just keep running one out like that. Not getting any offloads. Two and three in the tackle. Making it easy for New South Wales. The last now on the halfway line. Kick from Trindle. It's a pretty good one as well. Boy takes it well. Do you know what, but Peter? It's too far out. You've got to, you've got to get around that 30 metre line and put it up so your chasers can get through 40 metres out few minutes into the second half and you know a little bit of fatigue starts to set in. New South Wales in control at the moment but as we know things can change pretty quickly. Virils 
Adam Wall. He's out there. You wouldn't expect things to change too much because he's playing very well. And here's a penalty. It was late in the tackle count as well. They take a quick tap. Off they go, Verrills. Quick hands away. Parry to Saab. Look out, Saab. They corral him. He's still going. Now you've got to be ready, haven't they? Haven't you? you got, they took the quick tap. Queensland had their backs to New South Wales there. Tarfe goes to the big number 10 in Rodwell. Back out for his second stint. A couple of metres away from the line. Oh, big numbers to the left. They go that way through the hands. They'll score. Wilton to Crichton. He's in, is he? Crawls his way to the line. He lost it. So, with the, so you say it was stripped here from Queensland. And then Queensland forced it. Of course, you can strip it in the act of scoring. The opposition scoring a try. Forced in goal, goal line dropout. Yeah, they're under the pump again. It was a quick tap taken by the New South Welshman. They identified that you get him out wide again. He's Crichton with the footy. Yeah, and it's stripped over the top. So tackled in the in goal area. The Queenslanders Did under the pump now. Didn't he do well, Ronaldo Militalo? That's outstanding to strip the ball when it looked like Stephen Crichton was about to score. Just been relentless, haven't they? New South Wales through the middle of the ruck. I mentioned in the first half how they poke their nose through all the time. They have not let up. Playing a little bit like their coach, Mark O'Mealy. He was one for the ages, wasn't he? Terrific player, Burton straight through, inside pass, and they'll score the try. Matt Croker, the try scorer from the Newcastle Knights. New South Wales going further in front, this under-20s origin. Put it down to Matt Burton, sending the forward over to score the try blocker. Yeah, could have scored himself there, Burton. He's been the difference in this game. Wonderfully skilled, always takes the right option. Look, the show on the go. A little bit of footwork at the line. Gets the ball on the outside there. New South Wales are in again, doesn't he like it? He's been the man of the match so far. But plenty of good players out there for New South Wales. This is gonna be a carve up. 22 points to four it is. And New South Wales in front of Queensland in this under 20s origin. Queensland in a lot of trouble. The New South Wales team in their statement. And it will be Crichton to look to add the extras. Just had that one miss early on in the night. Yeah, they've scored in pretty good positions now, apart from the, the first try, I'd say. Crichton having a night out. The Burt, wow, keep your eyes open for him. And He's going to be a player. He not far. He wouldn't be far off first grade neither. Another one blocker from Penrith. Mm. They churn them out, don't they? The Penny Panthers. Good mix actually in the in, in the New South Wales team from. Across the clubs, Tex Hoy from Newcastle, Towers from Canterbury, Crichton from Penrith, Parry from Parramatta, Saab from the Dragons, Burton from Penrith, Inu from also from Penrith. Well, Burton's got options, hasn't he? You don't know whether he's going to run, show and go, look on the inside and step back in, kick. He's got a he's got a good kick bag, hasn't he? Certainly does. Darby Medlin too, blocker from Canberra. He's had a good game as well, lock forward for New South Wales. Yeah, they've all been good. Young players coming through the Raiders, aren't there at the moment? He's well stocked for the future, is Ricky Stewart. In fact, blocker one player, Corey Horsby, who played in this game last year. Yeah, the big redhead. Yeah, he re-signed for three years with the Raiders. He's playing good too. I love how aggressive he is. Helps when you got Bateman and all those guys next year. <laughs> what a player. Burton looking to run. Flicks it out the back to nobody. Eventually it's picked up. 
Watafa, he puts up a very good kick. Swirling, he was never, never comfortable under that one, Militalo. Well, he's been their best player, hasn't he? Militalo, but fatigue starts to set in. You start to make errors on the back foot. Takes a special type of team to come back from 24 to 4. And another opportunity now for New South Wales. Yeah. He had been, he's had a very good game, Militalo. Saved the try a few minutes ago, his defence. Scored a try as well. Well, scored the only try that Queensland has managed to put on the scoreboard. This has been a very proficient performance for New South Wales. Does Virils and Burton have a plan? Well, it was Virils and Hoy who had a plan to go to Parry. He does well to stay in the field to play. Saab came to help him. Now they're only 10 away from the line. Udukamanu gets the legs pumping. Virils, it's there for him. There was a little gap. Still going. Dancing with them. Stepping. Passing. Udukamanu, he's held up. Held up. He's another one of the options, isn't he? Verrills, been outstanding. Hasn't overplayed his hand. Bringing it offload in the footy too. Can you imagine this place tonight when there's 83,000 here? It'll be pumping. Certainly will be. Here's Hoy. And Parry on his outside. Cuts back towards the centre of the ground. Belcher actually running like that. Here we go. And reaching out and scoring is going to be Kai Rodwell. The rabbit I was in. And that pretty much seals the deal for New South Wales. I say this, Blocker, as I throw it to you for the replay of the try that you love seeing front rowers score like that. Yeah, I certainly do. And that's just a power run and simple second man play. And as you said, Kai Rodwell is the man who gets over the stripe, but that's a fatigue try. Queensland's defence, it's been all the football for New South Wales in the second half. They would have been talking about going on with the show after leading 16-4 at half time. They've certainly done that. They have not given an inch the big front rower goes over. Simple play. Rob will scores. You have a look at it there. Um, Nathan Barrett was number 17. Just got up in front of his teammates. Which allows, just opens up that gap. Second man play. Simple conversion. 30 to 4. That's exactly what it will be. When he does kick it slowly for this one but he's just walking out his mark again moves in now soon mate, it'll be 30 <laughs> to 4 Stephen you can get in there and kick it Stephen Crichton I'm talking to now blocker I, I heard during the week that blocker isn't or wasn't your original nickname. No, you're right. But I'm not allowed to say what it was because it's very embarrassing. Start with P. Well, it's got something to do with the shape of me melon. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Basoldis and Stephen Podge wrote. <laughs> with oh, you. Podgy, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Any guesses for who I was talking to? Paul Cyril? No. no, it wasn't Cyril. It wasn't your brother. Who was it? Give someone up, please. Gary Jimmy Jack. Jack. Gary Jack. The world's best back. <laughs> Couldn't he play? Got a more stingy bloke you'd never meet. <laughs> he could play, but. Is it true we delayed his trip home to pay the cheaper toll? He used to give the toll gate bloke a couple of bananas instead of the 40 cents. <laughs> <laughs> I told him I told him I'd get that in. <laughs> Said, say day to Podge for me. Uh, I said, on, Podge. He, he's a good man. <laughs> he's a good man, Jimmy. What a player. Wow. That's a terrific set of six from New South Wales. We come from the same junior club down there in Wollongong, yeah. the Red Devils. <laughs> he was 
very good player. Where did you see him at, Peter? No, I had him on my radio program. On oh, right, okay. <laughs> you running out of people radio or something? <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> You lose my number or something? Or? <laughs> oh, I've got to, got to give my go. Yeah, you cranked me up a few times. I've never said no to you, but Pete. No, you haven't. If I if I answer one day and say, no, I can't do it, I'm rearranging my sock drawer, you'll know that I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty fed up with you. <laughs> Pass from Bullymore to Trindle, Militalo. Out wide they go here, Queensland through to Alungi. He gives nice. a pass away to Anderson, and he's away here. Sizes up the fullback. Hoy does well. Better ball movement from Queensland. Too little, too late. Tanner Boyd up over the 20. He goes. Still going. Tanner Boyd gets a pass away for Sumala Awi. Yeah, it's very important for him to finish the game well here. Trindle stepping. Good tackle. Was a, a very good tackle from Burton. Hetherington back in the dummy half goes to Fasua Malaawi. Nine away from the line. Tino will get up and play it. Boyd to Alungi for the line. It's the last. It'll be a changeover. Good defence, New South Wales defensively blocker. Ethan Parry has been outstanding tonight. On Murray to Alungi. I don't mind that play there from Queensland because you have a look at it right in the corner. New South Wales two metres out from their own line. These are, this is where you earn your money here. These are the tough runs. It's where the courageous blokes get. I remember playing with Wayne Pearce for all those years. You could never push him out of the way for his size. Tough as teeth. Ten away from their own line here, New South Wales. Now Hoy. Gilbert with the tackle over the top. Hooth from Newcastle is out there. You can't miss him in there. The blonde haired Luke Hooth. There's a kick. Now the bounce once again. Anderson's got it. 11 minutes to go to Militalo. Well, I hope both sides really try and finish this game too. It's fizzled out a little bit. The scoreline 30 to 4. Got to finish well in these games. Tessie New been kept quiet by New South Wales tonight. You know why, Peter? Because 10 years down the track, or five years down the track, you might come up against them again. Be able to remind them what the scoreline was. You wouldn't have done anything like that? No, I was too buggered at all. <laughs> Gilbert here for Queensland. Tanner Boyd into the line. It's a nice, nice pass away, and that's a, a good pass as well, too, from Hopgood. But from his point of view, it was straight to Saab. Well called there from Saab. Has anyone got in touch with us to see if he's a nephew or some off? Relation of Charlie Saab? No, haven't received anything from that. So, yeah, if you are associated with Jason Saab, he's the other winger in Sower. Strong run there from then you. Kick here from Burton. High kick. Well, the only contest there was between two New South Wales players. He's just knocked that one on, boy. He dragged it back towards the other player. Yeah, it's losing a little bit of momentum at the moment, the, the game. There's the Fantasy League scores. I didn't know we were, we were hooked up to that with the 20s. Is, it, is that a G up or? Oh, they'd be putting the points in. A lot of possession here. A lot of runs from New South Wales. Now Saab. Contracted through to the Dragons until 
least the end of the 2022 season. Maryland's Rams Jr. So, yeah, no relation. Doesn't say that in his profile. The See, there's South a has got the ball. There's a little thing too. Just turn around and try and offload the footy. The Queenslanders and the ball's on the deck. Desperation for New South Wales to dive on it. It's a good play. Saab is 195 centimetres How many tall. is that? Six, five? Is it? More, I think. He's 18. Blocker, he's big, 18. I wonder how big his boots are. On the front foot again, New South Wales. It's all one-way traffic with eight minutes to go. Dory coming back on for the New South Welshman. Just trying the back row. I'll probably try and give him a little bit of spark here off the bench for his second stint. And the Queens, the New South Wales. Oh, here's Verrills again. New South Wales halves might be looking to find Dory here. Len Yu. Tafei wow. flying through and scoring the try. They're in again, New South Wales. It's party time for the Blues. In they go. 34 points to four it is. Well, that was just the flash, Peter. I don't know who it was. Back on the inside. Change of direction. We talked about slippery conditions. It was that quick. I didn't see who it was. And everyone's getting a pat on the head. And it was Number Ethan four. Parry. Yep. Have a look at this for speed. Now, these sort of conditions, that's what you need to do. Cut back on the inside. Look at that. Bang. Straight through. No way you're going to stop him there. A staggered defence. Ethan Parry. Parramatta. He's been solid blocker, Ethan Parry. And deserves that try. So it will be Crichton again. He's loving these ones now from right in front. Yeah, Ethan Parry. Centre for Parramatta. Has played some Canterbury Cup. Yeah, I don't think it'll be long before he's playing first grade, a lot of these blokes. Been a great effort, hasn't it? Certainly has. Dip your lid to Marco Mealy, the coach. He'll be happy. Very rarely see him smile, but anyway, I reckon he'll be smiling today. Frankie L, front rower. <laughs> he plays for Wenty, Ethan Parry in the Canterbury Cup. Scored four tries this season. He has one tonight. Brighton makes no mistake. This is one-way traffic for New South Wales. 36 points to four. Well, they'll be looking up at the scoreboard now, the Queenslanders, and thinking, well, it's not even what could have been. They started so well early. Put the New South Welshman under all sorts of pressure, but then they went on the back of a penalty and scored the first try. It's been open slather since then. Certainly has been. Now, Blocker, this, I think I'm right in saying, uh, Tino Fasua Mala Awi, uh, what a year he's having. I can double check this stat in just a moment, but I'm pretty certain that he this will be the first loss he's played in this season. Wow. Because he made his NRL debut with the Melbourne Storm and won that one. Wonder how he'll take it. <laughs> Not real good, I'm imagining. No, I wouldn't have thought so. I've just got to double check that he didn't play in a recent loss for Sunshine Coast Falcons, and he didn't. So yeah, 15 games in a row. The Sunshine Coast Falcons won in the Intra Super Cup. Who's coaching them? Uh, Eric Smith. Is their coach. Well done. It's a good feat, isn't it? 15 yeah. in a row. And then they had a loss. So, yeah, it's the first time he's played the losing team this year. Big um, Tino. No match payments this week. 
That was a great thing about playing in England. You got your match payments every Thursday. You played well. The envelope was very skinny. <laughs> you got beat. It was a little bit fatter if you won. Yeah, very good. <laughs> Hetherington plays it. Here's Tanner Boyd. That kick will, could go anywhere when it bounces. Bounces into the goal area. There's only one player following it through, and that was for Sumala Awi, and nice. eventually the cavalry came. Oh, Blacker a, was there, as was Anderson. That's a big play. You need it a little bit earlier in the game, but... It's a good kick from Tanner Boyd. Certainly was. They haven't given up hope, have they? I know they're getting flogged on the scoreboard, but they're, they're finishing well, the Queenslanders. Important for them to do that. Fullback's probably been their most outstanding player, I would say. There's Tanner. been plenty for the Blues. That man, ball in hand's been pretty good as well in Tanner Boyd. Here's Ethan Bullymore. 27 away from the line. Get up and play it there, Will Barrett. Boyd, Trindle for Sumala Awi, hit hard again. Burton in under the ribs. Good tackle from the 5'8". Had a bit of help as well. Two minutes, 20 left. Can Queensland end with a try? Here's Tanner Boyd into the line. Well handled again. They go down the short side to Alungi. Murray to Alungi. Got the ball on the line. That'll be a try for Queensland. Their second try of the night, the North Queensland Cowboys player. Try awarded, Murray to Alungi. Well, that'll give their 16 fans out of the 83,000 are going to be here. <laughs> Something to cheer about at the end of the game, Pete. One, two, three. You counting them? There's five in front of us. Yeah, well, there's only 16 here. It's a sea of blue here. A sea where, of blue. Where's your week? <laughs> you wear one of those weeks? Oh, I've still got me here. Right. Sorry about that, Pete. <laughs> Good try, Murray to Alungi. Trindle, with the attempt at conversion. He's nailed it. Good strike there from Trindle. 36 10 it is. I don't think it's as daunting coming here as it is to Suncorp Stadium, would you say that? Pete? Well, the crowd's a bit further away. Yeah. They're not questioning your parentage. And then, the, you know, the bars leading down the street up there at Suncorp. The facility out here, probably not as close. You don't run into as many natives. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? They'll be there tonight too at the Caxton. Oh, I reckon they will be. Downing With a the cider. Downing the Forex goals as we speak and everything else is that your preference there. Pete or are you a Bundaberg rum drinker or a 4x or what, what are you? see all of the above oh. <laughs> 30 seconds left in the contest well let's, Boyd. let's hope this is the standard for the night's play Pete 36 to 10 not a fair flogging, in it? You're only saying that because Scott Sattler walked into the commentary box to say good day. He's a blue anyway. Hey, hang on. Well, Will you Lutalo. took everyone else. He was born in South Sydney. To a lucky. Full time. Latalo puts it down. Referee says that'll do. And well done to Marco Mealy and the New South Wales under 20s team winning the under 20s origin. By 36 points to 10, Blocker, an outstanding performance from the New South Wales team, six tries to two. Yeah, it certainly was. And they went on with it in the second half, Peter. I've got to say, it's my pleasure to be here doing the footy with you tonight. Let's hope they call us up again next year. Bye for now. I'm sure they will. <laughs> Have a great night, folks. Enjoy the decider. I know we're looking forward to it. It's going to be a terrific night. Well done to New South Wales winning the under-20s origin. Hope you enjoyed the coverage of the game tonight.